Hello, my name is Alice Trindle and welcome to A Tip for the Ride. This is a series of video blogs that we'll be putting together over the course of the next few weeks that help you with some ground exercises and some specific maneuvers up in the saddle to help you in developing that ultimate willing partnership with your wonderful horse. We'll be looking at the principles that these wonderful animals have been teaching me over the last few years and I've been trying to adhere to. So grab a pencil, piece of paper, and set back and see if there isn't something that resonates with you. If there is, think about coming and joining us here at the TNT Ranch in Haynes, Oregon. So here is your tip for the ride. Well, welcome again to Tip for a Ride. Today we're going to be talking about developing fluid, balanced, rhythmic, lateral movements. Over the course of the last few years as I've attended different kinds of events and seen how different people ask their horses to go sideways, both away from the bend and into the bend, both in leg yield type postures and in half pass type postures, I've seen quite a variety. Some of the things that simply don't resonate too well with me is that often I see it's about force and the lack of balance and the lack of rhythm. So today I'd like to talk just a little bit about how I set up getting my horse to be fluid, rhythmic, and balanced with me in those sideways or lateral type motions. Before we move on to that we might talk just a little bit about why it's important for us to develop some of those lateral moves. Well one is starting right out with the flexibility of our horse. Being able to give my horse a nice massage both over the top line and through their, uh, uh, their the sideways type motions through their rib cage is incredibly important to keeping them healthy and to let them be a partner with us for a long time. Along with that being able to know in lateral movements where those feet are located really helps me for many kinds of maneuvers that we're going to do as we move up the scale a little with our horse. As an example, a nice balanced canter to part involves being able to know exactly where those hind feet are located and being able to set up that hip so that it's in a position where the horse can easily jump up into the canter in a fluid motion and very effortless. So let's get started talking just a little bit about these lateral motions. Again, I'm going to de demonstrate a couple of the ba very basics, both the leg yield and the half pass posture so that we know that we're on the same page when we're talking about this type of maneuver. Seems to me that oftentimes in our western riding we kind of forget that we not only need to be able to move our horse away from the bend in a leg yield, but we also need to be able to position that hip and step the horse into the bend in what I might call a half pass type posture. So let's identify those right here in your mind's eye so that you have a clear picture of what I'm talking about. I'm going to kind of ride towards you here just a little bit and start with a, a bit of a leg yield posture. In other words, I'm going to tip Tilly's nose here just a slight little bit to the right. All I need to see is her right eyelash. And I'm going to ride her energy from her right hip to her left rein, from her right hip to her left shoulder. Before all of this comes together, I want to make sure that I have my horse already warmed up, nice and stretched over her top line, and kind of with me here. So I'm going to gather her up just a little bit and see if I could ride her forward here to, towards you. I'm going to see that right eyelash just a little bit, put my right calf on her, and not open my left leg, but just relax it and let it get a little bit long, riding right to left, right to left, right to left. So that works out pretty good. I'm going to just do a little turn around here and let you see it from backwards so that you can see it from behind. And again, I want you to watch where my balance is staying. It is not about opening this left leg up, but rather relaxing it and bringing my balance over here to the left-hand side. 
right to left, right to left, right to left. So let's watch that one more time as I come into you, still riding those same two pairs of legs. And I'm going to see if I could change that a little bit to what I often see when I'm um, kind of out touring around, is that people get an idea that they need to open this leg and push the horse over there. So just for kicks and grins, let's see how that happens and see the difference in how I look and how my horse reacts. Can you see that I'm actually sitting on the very part I'm asking her to move. I look kind of out of balance and she looks totally confused. So that doesn't work out. Let's try it again going away from me here a little so that you get again the idea. I'm going to picture that I've got a big bowl of fruit up on top of my head like a Carmen Miranda and I'm going to bring that bowl over here to my left shoulder. I'll let my left elbow get a little heavy, I'll put a little feel in my left rein and I'll la relax or lengthen my left leg. Not open it, just relax it. It's not because I'm pushing her over but she's feeling the balance right to left, right to left. That worked out pretty nice. Let's just try it for one more time here, going the opposite direction. I'll pick up this left eye and ride left to right, left to right, left to right. Pretty nice. Notice that Tilly is staying nice and soft in the bridle, that I'm not putting ex excess pressure on my legs or excess pressure into the reins, not having to open up just relax that right leg and she just says, okay, I'd be happy to go over there into it. When I want her to go forward, I'll just close that leg. Leg yield posture, moving away from the bend. So that's pretty nice. Why would I need those? Well, it's very handy for practical things like being able to smooch over there and get the gait. It is a very good posture to set up when you're working cows to be able to get the shoulders up and around the cow for that nice sweep back. It's an incredible motion that's needed in a thousand different ways, both on the ground and in the saddle. Every horse needs to know it. Every ho aspiring horseman needs to be able to set it up both on the ground and here in the saddle. Now let's talk about another sideways positioning. This is called half-pass posture. The horse is going to move into the bend. His nose is in the direction of travel. His hip goes in the direction of travel. My balance will sit in that same direction of travel. Once again, it is not about the pressure that he's moving away from so much as it is that he's moving underneath my balance. So with Tilly here, as we start out, we'll set up a little bit of a half-pass type posture. An official half-pass is a forward movement into the bend and on a diagonal. So that's kind of what we'll try to set up here as we move off. I'm going to ride into you and tip her nose to the left. I'm going to ride her hip, her right hip, to her left shoulder. I'm going to leave my left leg a little bit on and around her so she can curl around that. Rather again, not opening, but rather just allowing her to step into that bend. There's the left bend, there's my right leg back a little, there's right hind, left fore, 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 right hind, left fore. Nice, and I'm going to just ride out, turn around here, and we'll try the same thing back the same direction. Still riding those same two set of feet. Nose is tipped to the left, my balance is to the left, my fruit basket is over here to the left. I have a feel in my left rein, and my left leg just invites the horse to come around it. Real nice. Let's try it back the opposite way now. If I were to tip her nose to the right here and put my left leg back and my right leg slightly on, bringing my balance over here, making my right elbow a little bit heavier, asking her to step into this right rein. 
into it, into it. And we'll try that one more time going away from you. My balance goes the direction I want the horse to go. I'll ask her to come this direction, over here to the right. My shoulders do what her shoulders are doing. My hips are doing what her hips are doing. Riding from that left hind to that right fore. Effortless and about balance. Watch how easily she follows my suggestions here. Her eyes are tipped to the left. Her body is moving to the left. Change the bend to the right and have her move to the right. Again, why would this be important? Well, let's see how that works for a nice little canter to part here as I ride away from you to see if that might help. I think I'll step her hip over here to the left just a little and we'll see if we can get the canter. That worked out pretty nice. Soften. Very nice. I'll tip her nose here towards you to the right. I'll ride her hip in here to the right, soften her up, and ask for the canter. She says, I'm all ready to go, Alice. So, hopefully, with this little tip, you'll go out and start to work a bit on your lateral, your sideways types motions. As always, check out the website, www.tnthorsemanship.com, and you'll find a whole series of articles, several about setting up fluid, rhythmic, and balanced sideways movements. Thanks for joining me. Look forward to seeing you again on Tip for the Ride.